Hey guys, welcome to Gardening a bit and I hope you are doing very well. In today's video, we are going to take a look at some simple steps that we need to do in case our hibiscus plant is not growing well. For example, this is how my plant was looking at the beginning stage and here is the result I got after some days. It was a new plant and after buying from nursery, I reported it in a 18 spot. The plant was not growing at all, so let's see what I did. Honestly saying, the plant was looking very bad. The sizes of the leaves were quite small. I could find a feed attacks too. All these things happened even after feeding my plant on regular basis and of course it was getting sunlight for the right time. Instead of thinking too much, let's report the plant once. Many times plants don't grow well because of lack of nutrients in the soil. So this is the first thing that we can do whenever we find that our plants are not growing well. This time taking fresh potting soil mix and I am taking 60% normal garden soil and 40% vermicompost. Let's report the plant quickly and then we will take a look at the second step. Adding two more components here and first one is two teaspoons of mustard cake powder. We have enough vermicompost in the potting soil mix so it's okay even if you don't use all these two components at this time. And the second component is half teaspoon of biovita seaweed extract. Basically it's going to provide all the micronutrients. My hibiscus plant is also a tissue cultured variety. So here we can see the small net cap here. We don't need to remove this net cap and it's okay even if we uh, plant or report along with the net cap. As a second step, I am going to prune my plant. There is a bud on one branch, too difficult to prune at this stage. But let's do it thinking about the better things which are waiting ahead. Please take a look how I am pruning. On this branch, we can see the new bud. So pruning just above the new bud. Let me take one raw footage instead of the voiceover and I hope you are not going to get disappointed. So let's prune the plant a bit but before pruning I want to show you something. So here, here you can see the bud, this is, this is a new bud, so we can prune above the new bud and that way it's going to produce more new branches. So here you can see this is the new bud, so if I prune here it's going to produce new shoots just below this one. So I am, it's like pinching actually not exactly pruning and I am doing it so that, okay let's do one thing. Uh, instead of there, let's do it here because I want to give my plant a uniform shape. Please note, getting rid of aphids is not difficult and I already have a video where I have provided many ways to deal with the pest attacks on hibiscus. You can check out the video simply clicking on the i button on top right corner or you would also find the link to that video in the description box. Alright, it's done. Let's water well. After that, I would keep the plant in shade for next two to three days and then I would ship the plant to the terrace. Let's wait for the updates. Looking good so far. Now here is the third important step. I am going to apply humic acid. Humic acid is not a fertilizer by itself. 
but it helps plants to uptake nutrients and improve soil structure. In case your plants are not growing well, try to use it. You would be able to see the benefits within few days. The dose is 10 ml in 1 liter water and using it once or twice per year is enough. I am extremely sorry. I forgot to press the record button while applying the humic acid on my hibiscus plant. Basically, we just need to apply directly on the soil. For example, here you can see me applying humic acid on one of my exora plant and result was quite amazing. Let's wait for the update. This is an update after 60 days. My hibiscus plant transformed really well. Can see lots of new buds. It's growing and also blooming well. So out of 10, how many marks you would like to give me? Please let me know by commenting below. But still I can see iron deficiency on my plant. Some of the new leaves are light green and the veins are green. If you like as a treatment, you can use agromin. It contains 7.5% iron and 5% zinc. The dose is 1 ml in 1 liter water and please try to spray on the both surfaces of the leaves. Use it couple of times in a gap of 7 to 10 days as long as you find iron deficiency on your plant. Just few days back I have uploaded one video about roses and there I provided few important steps to make them healthy and get more flowers. All with updates like I do for most of my videos and in case you are interested, please check out the next video. Hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you so much for watching, truly appreciate it, have a great time and enjoy.